Orange sticker price can be intimidating. Just this past year, it was over $75,000, which doesn't include personal expenses or travel costs. But the reality is our generous financial aid program allows anyone to attend Harvard, regardless of financial need. In fact, over 20% of our students are able to attend Harvard University without families having to pay anything at all. If you're curious, then stick around. I'll show you just how affordable it can be. This is the net price calculator, better known as the NPC. It may seem extensive and intimidating, but honestly, it's the best way to get a good rough estimate of how much Harvard might cost you and your family. This is not an application for financial aid. It is simply a tool for you to utilize to get a rough estimate of your financial award. So we'll start off with the family information section first. Our financial aid packages change based on family size, where you live, and how many siblings you have in college. For the sake of this video, we'll start with the primary residence is going to be in the country in which you live. So here I'll select United States. Um, I'll say that I live in the state of Texas. I'll say my family has four people and then I'll say I'm the first one in college within this family currently. So I'll enter one as a number of children in college. Also just wanna highlight that if you are curious about any information or need more clarity on any of these fields, you can click the question mark on the side, which will give you more insight on how to answer that question as well. We ask where you live because Harvard gives you an allowance to spend on travel in your financial aid package. Students who live further away need more aid to get here every year. Please note that our international students, DACA students, and undocumented students all qualify for the exact same financial aid as our US citizens. We still cover travel costs for all of our student body. So let's go to the next section for income information. For this section, you'll enter some information about your family's income. The fields where you decide to enter information doesn't really matter. So as long as the total amounts represent your family's total income. I'll say that both of my parents work and each makes 50,000 per year before taxes. So we'll add that together and enter $100,000 for parent income and wages. Don't have any interest or dividend income to report. So I'll leave that as blank. And then let's also say that my mother owns, runs a small store on Etsy on the side where she makes a few thousand dollars per year. For that, I'll say she has $3,000 under business farm income. We don't have any income from investments or real estate, so I'll leave those fields blank. And I don't have any additional income that wasn't captured in this picture, so I will leave that blank as well. So now let's move on to asset information. In this section, you'll enter information about assets your family owns. When filling out this section, do not include traditional retirement accounts or the value of your home. Under cash and investments, let's say I know my parents have a savings account. I don't know the exact amount of money in the account, but $10,000 seems to be in the right ballpark. So I'll enter $10,000 under cash and investments. Now you can always ask your parents for a more specific number, but at the end of the day, the NPC is meant to provide a rough estimate of your financial aid. So approximations are fine in this case. Likewise, I'm also not familiar with the finances of my mom Etsy store. So I'll just leave the business farm equity blank. I'll also say my family doesn't own property other than the house we live in and my parents don't have other assets to report. So I'll leave those two fields blank as well. It's important to know here that you don't wanna include the current home your family lives in as real estate equity as we are not evaluating your current home to be a part of this amount. In this case, I'll say my family doesn't own any property other than the house we live in and my parents don't have other assets to report. So I'll leave those two fills blank as well. We'll now move down to student assets. Sometimes students may have a job and are able to save some money. So for student assets, I'll pretend I had a job at the grocery store over the summer and earned the thousand dollars that I saved. So I'll enter $1,000 in the student assets. And finally, we've arrived at your estimated financial aid package. Let's break down what these numbers might mean for you and your family. Estimated scholarship. This is an estimate of financial aid you will likely receive. This is the money you won't have to pay back towards your education. Your cost is how much the cost will be for you and your family to attend Harvard after receiving the estimated scholarship. This is simply the sticker price minus your estimated scholarship. Below, you'll find a breakdown of your costs. For the cost to parents, this is how much your parents will be responsible for paying. This amount is based on the asset and income information you entered. For this example, you see that the cost to parents is 6,200. The student asset contribution is about 5% of what you enter in the student assets field, which is currently $50 in this example here. The student turn time work expectation is a standard amount included in all financial aid packages. 
Most students work an on-campus job 10 to 12 hours per week to meet this expectation each academic year. If you would like a full breakdown of your costs, please feel free to click the plus sign next to total build and unbuild costs to see a full breakdown that will tell you how much the tuition and fees are, room and board expenses, as well as books and personal expenses, and estimated travel costs based off the information you entered. If you want to learn more about the net price estimate, you can always click learn more about the estimate here. You can also share this estimate with a family member, but it's important for you to know that we do not save or store any of the information you enter on the website. I hope this walkthrough has shown just how affordable Harvard can be for families of all economic backgrounds. In the description, you can find some helpful links about financial aid here at Harvard. If you have any questions about Harvard College admissions and financial aid, please visit our website and view the contact page to find out how to get in contact with us. Thank you so much for watching today.